What, what up, y'all? I'm Mike. I'm Casey. And we are the, the potential. potential. And I'm hungry. So, I've been a pescatarian all week. <laughs> all week. And I'm ready for a cheat day. Y'all already been doing good. I, I really don't eat like this. But today, since we got Sonic, last minute, I didn't cook. We decided to do a mukbang. So this is a Is it a mukbang or mukbang? I think it's mukbang because the people that it's really originated from, they talk like that. So I think they would say mukbang. And the definition of mukbang is? I think eating a large consumption of food. Eating a large thing of food. Like consuming a large amount of food. Don't really know. But we're doing a mukbang for y'all. Y'all know we always looking up definitions. I think I took it overboard, but... I got wings. Oh, they smell so good. How much you charging for one? Mozzarella sticks. How much you charging for one of them wings? Nice. I'm sorry. Can't. I, I, I talked to God about this. He said I can't. <laughs> onion rings. <laughs> and that's it. And I got onion rings, mozzarella sticks, and I also got the toaster. With and he also got this. A shake and the toaster, the bacon chicken toaster. Yeah. Mm. So, and a mukbang is an online audiovisual broadcast in which it hosts each large quantity of food while interacting with their audience. <laughs> so, how are we going to interact as we eat? I mean, certain people do the quiet um, ASMR mukbang. Some people do. I told them no where tomatoes. They talk, where they talk about a topic. Don't you hate when? Yeah. <gasps> but we could do <gasps> either one. Y'all know we talk. If y'all want to see us talk. Y'all gotta make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and, and share. share. Hit that notification bell. Uh -huh. And follow us on Instagram and Twitter at underscore the potential underscore and Snapchat the potential two, the number two, because we want to chat with all of you. Y'all gotta let us know. I guess we can talk, we can discuss something. And if y'all like the discussion, y'all can tell say? us. If y'all don't say we don't want to hear y'all, talk, don't talk. So. This is really good. You know, one thing I like about Sonic is that their meat is fresh, their hamburger meat is fresh, their tenders are fresh. Everything is normally fresh. Chill. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like if you go to McDonald's or Burger King, it's something about after you eat like a Sonic or something, it don't seem fresh. Mm -hmm. Like a real Come fresh on. tender. I don't think I'm in it. Damn. Mm. Your whole elbow. <laughs> But I'm yeah, like, hashtag Sonic if it's fresh. Like, oh, and let us know if y'all have Sonic where y'all at. Is Sonic worldwide? I think so. Oh my god. So, mm. what's the topic? Mm. Mm. No, I'm not really used to talking while I'm eating like this. I'm used to watching it makes you fuller. Does it? I think when you talk when you that's why they saying you should sit at the dinner table. Mm, talk, talk not watch something because it distracts you from eating. Like when you're talking and you're really paying attention to your, to your food, you're enjoying it and you get full. Mm. Look, y'all, I love the mozzarella sticks. When the cheese, when they fried and the cheese come out. I love onion rings. Ooh. Well, I love Sonic's onion rings. Ooh, it's making me happy. Who well, else like the onion rings with ketchup? That's nasty. I don't like marinara sauce. Marinara sauce. So, who else is like me? Michael can't think of a topic, y'all. I want to know why does food make you dance? Because you'll be so You could be any weight, you could be any race, anything. Somebody gonna say, you know, it's just because fat. <laughs> <laughs> fat chocolate pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Dip me in chocolate. Hmm. When I eat my onion ring, I have to break it. That's what it is. I have to do it like that. Who does that? I have to. So let's talk about favorite places to eat. Don't do that while you're talking about food. That just makes you double fat. I mean, I don't know what else to talk about. But this is really good though. 
How much are you charging for a wing? I will pay anything. It looks so good. Mm. I had to put the whole thing in my mouth. I couldn't savor it. Mm. I will say, about? wait, before we start, I will say, let us know what other mukbangs y'all want us to do because, you know, we from New Orleans where they have a, diff a lot of different foods that's not everywhere. So let us know if there's a specific thing that you've heard from New Orleans and then we'll do it for you. Like, for example, like being A's and stuff. Or, it's everywhere, but it's done properly in New Orleans. You know what I mean? Like, everybody can't fix gumbo. I'm sorry. Hashtag mayonnaise. I remember when I used to didn't like mayonnaise and now I love just a little, First of all, a little mayonnaise. You used to like mayonnaise. We stopped eating mayonnaise for a long time. I don't think it's that I used to like it. I think we just ate it. No, we used to we used you used to eat it. And then we we stopped eating mayonnaise for a long time and then he started going back to I don't like mayonnaise, I don't eat it. I can't I need a little bit of mayonnaise. Mm-mm. Okay, but you was about to talk the topic. I feel like we can talk about what we're talking about. I'm talking about. About men and women in relationships. Oh. I should be saved that. I feel like we talked enough about it. At the end of the day, I don't think it's a man-woman thing. I really do believe that. Y'all have to go look at our other thing. Our um, J. Cole reaction. Kevin Hart, the whole scandal and thing. But at the end of the day, people are going to do what people want to do. People, people are going to do what they want to do, even if they know it's right or even if they know it's wrong. Like, some people, it, it, it really takes a tough crowd. It really takes a tough crowd to say, no, not a tough I'm crowd. I'm very cautious with eating my throat sick. Sorry. My throat is mm -hmm. small. Sorry. Yo. Oh my god. This is the smoothest milkshake of life. Let me tell y'all what I did. It was one of those weekends where I said I wasn't eating bad and I had to lie and get it while it was gone because I have to sneak it. And Bad people. No, I have to sneak it. That's I, and I snuck it and something just told me I was on the phone with somebody. I'm not going to tell you who I was on the phone with because y'all going to judge me. But I was on the phone with somebody and... I, I'm judging. That little blue pill scared me. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they be saying blue pill, red pill? One of is a million dollars and one is to go back in the past. I don't care which one it is. It's only one. But it... <laughs> <laughs> I'm but no. It. So anyway, so I so I was on the phone with somebody. Not going to tell you how it was. And Why did you say that? Because if I do, the world will judge me. Um, Who was it? Was it Hitler? <laughs> I can't tell you. Um, But we was talking or whatever. Was it Donnie? I was like, I really want ice cream. Now, anybody who knows me knows I don't like ice cream. But it wasn't really ice cream. I was really being funny. I was like, I just really want something Ooh, sweet. Your name. So when I <laughs> like corn on that guy. So when I went to Sonic, I was like, let me get a milkshake. And like, have you ever known me to get a milkshake? I've been like, no. It's you like, don't really like ice cream. Yeah, I don't really like milk. So you like it, bread. Right, so it's right, like, anything. so I was like, let me get a milkshake, and I like bananas and strawberries, because when I do make my own milkshake, it normally be like bananas, strawberries, something like that. It'll I got it. Yeah, smoothie. That's smoothie. smoothie. Ice cream, man. I got it, and y'all fell in love. Now, I just told my dad to go get me one the other day, and he did not get the right one. This one? But you ate it. I ate it because I paid for it. So, this is your third milkshake in a small period of time. But this right here? It makes you want to. Jump. Wow. Jump. Let it go. Mary. That's my auntie. That's your grandma. You're not old enough to be my grandma. Oh, you mean. I thought you were my old grandma. Mm -mm. Hey, grandma. Grandma? Cheat day. That's all I got to say. I got two words. Cheat day. <laughs> two I'm words done. for you. Cheat day. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Mmm. <laughs> This is really good. But I guess that discussion was fast. It has bacon on it. It has cheese on it. It has tenders. That's a lot. A little bit of mayonnaise and lettuce. But no. I got distracted. People are going to do what they want to do. And some people are bad people. Period. I don't believe in... 
the man is weaker than the woman. Even though I do ag I do agree with what Kay was saying, but at the end of the day, people do what they want to do. And when they get caught, all of a sudden it's wrong. Whatever. Because, like, I'm not a bad person, but I'm an adult. And if I want to do something, I'm going to do it. I don't care about how the world looks at it or whatever like that. I'm going to do it. I'm not telling y'all who I was on the phone with. Because y'all going to judge me. But. So you do care? Mm-mm. You care about I just don't want to hear it. I don't care. Oh, if you didn't care, you wouldn't hear it. <laughs> but, yeah, like, whatever. So at the, end of the day, at the end of the day, we were talking about Kevin Hoyt. Who are you on the phone with? I can tell you off camera. I'm not saying it on camera now. Yeah. Wait. You are really trying my patience. There's a line and you're crossing it. I'm sorry. Um, but... But you didn't say yes or no. Mm-hmm. I know. But... I know you. But, I'm about to say, like, you know me, so why are you so surprised? Because we... you know, I really thought you were going to say something about, like, our cousin or something. Who? Like, Renee or something. Because, you know, y'all talk about food together. Y'all go out on a whim and go to dinner and stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So. You know she's allergic to seafood. I'm not. No. Every time I think about it, I get the chills. It's like if I ever get allergic to seafood, like my life is over. I would kill myself. My life will be over. Okay. But I can't be allergic to crab legs. Men have drove me down. And I will fall asleep with the crab legs hanging out my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> You're asking for death. Man, anyway, that's not even speak day. Because I'm a pescatarian, so I need seafood. This is actually boneless uh, fish. I know it's not. It is. No, it's not. With gluten free. You sound stupid. Zero calorie sauce. Z zero EMO. <laughs> GMO. <laughs> That's how you know you're not healthy. <laughs> GMO. You eat all the GMO. Okay. Okay. They, they gave us more than a medium. A medium is four. They gave me six. Sponsor us. Two words. Sponsor us. Uh oh. Uh oh. Delete all this shit. Have y'all been watching the NFL draft? They said there's some people that we got pretty good. Davenport. And everybody wanted Lamar Jackson. I watched the combine. I really, I mean, did like last year was really good. This year I was I'm just not as into it. We might still be good, but we probably last year I was really into it. I guess mm -hmm. this year I didn't. I was I was excited to watch it though. I don't really watch the drafts or combines, but I'm all into the games. That's the difference between me. And you. So when a new when a new players just pop up, you just be like, oh, new player, let's go, <laughs> let's get it. I don't give a damn where you from. <laughs> what school you went to? How good you did there? What are you going to do here? That's my point. Y'all don't point. understand this milkshake is life. Oh my God. Like, I don't understand. Are you okay? Sonic <laughs> baby. Y'all, I keep dancing. Stop. I love Sonic oh. onion rings more than anybody else because it has this like it's crispy. Mm -hmm. The onion is good, and then it has this like it's all kind of like sweet taste to it. You don't like, feel like you need to be a little buttery. This is that's what I get from it. I get buttery from it, like sweet buttery. Whenever I eat, I get the chills. What do I mean? It's good. <laughs> so, so you like Burger King onion onion rings? I mean, like that way better. Can we talk about Burger King right now? Burger King is nasty. He used to love Burger King. Oh, I used to love Burger King. Give me that chicken whopper. And I hated it. The sauce with the onion rings. Every oh, my God. Every time I was younger and my parents used them. to go to Burger King, I used to feel betrayed. Like, y'all purposely doing it so I can't eat. And I'm going to say something. I really don't like Taco Bell. I like to eat it. I'll eat it. I used to love Taco Bell. And I hate Taco Bell. Like, I don't like Taco Bell, Burger King, McDonald's. Mm-mm. McDonald's don't even exist. Like, 
McDonald's is not an establishment. Talk about I just can't get with and Burger King. I never call like I hate Burger King. Ugh. One day I was on social media and McDonald's made a grand announcement. They said that they was gonna start using real meat in 2018. Baby, well what have you been using all this time? And they're still not using no real meat. They say 2018, like later on in the year, like around June, like for the summer, they're gonna start using real meat. So what are we eating? So what have we been eating since so childhood? Oh yeah, let's go to McDonald's now. Like no, we don't trust y'all. I think they mean like they're about to start using like A1 beef. No, we don't want it. I don't want it. Well, that's time I went to McDonald's. We used to go, go to McDonald's all the time when we were younger. Of course, everybody do. What kid don't love McDonald's? Yeah, you experienced but, McDonald's at least once. As we grew up, it was just one thing. This lady had went to McDonald's. We saw mm -hmm. it on Facebook. We're not about to talk about that. And something was on her food. I was just okay, yeah, we're not about to talk about that because we're eating. And did y'all hear that crunch? I am so... Michael's Max, so... I am so freaking content right now. This is food. this is different. Like eating and talking, I've not eaten and talked this much in my life. Like even when for Thanksgiving and stuff, we don't never sit at the table. We don't. Put our business out there. It's out. But he had something on the food. Oh my god. After that, we was like, hell no, we're not going to make that because we don't trust none of them. Hell no. Ooh, show him that one. Ooh, show him that one. But I don't like mozzarella sticks when they're not. Mm. Like hot, but that is a good mozzarella stick. <laughs> I don't like it when it's out. I like mozzarella stick, period. And that's the kind you need to like because you can't choke on that. Oh my gosh, she chokes on everything. She chokes on cheese, she chokes on jello, she chokes on ice, she chokes on banana pudding, she chokes on ketchup. She chokes on anything. Her, her throat is this big and it's sensitive, sensitive, sensitive. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, she'll just start joking. So this is really a challenge for me talking and eating. This is bomb bombastic. So mm. I haven't been to McDonald's since then either, and I don't think I will ever go back. Hashtag mayonnaise. That's so good. Get it off your lip. It's so creamy. It's not creamy. Mmm. Words that I don't like when I'm eating. Hashtag creamy. That is so nasty. Oh, hashtag ointment. You got that from the real because Tamara don't like moist. I know, but I'm saying, no, I've heard people talk about it. Mm. What you don't like? What I'm eating? She don't really like nasty words. I won't say it because it's too nasty to say. But, I don't like. You know what I'm talking about? That word I'm talking about? So creamy. Ugh, don't say that. I mean, I don't, don't really say that. Ugh, so milky. <laughs> no, that sounds disgusting. Ugh, so thick. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't like nothing that's thick. I don't think I might not like moist. This is so moist, moist is not bad. Yeah, not bad. Wait, what's moist? This is so wet. Ugh, uh, that is nasty. That is nasty. This cup is so wet. I don't like when you say succulent. <laughs> I don't like the way it sounds. <laughs> I always say it for what? I don't like it. This milkshake is going to be so succulent. I don't like that. I don't like the way you say it. Succulent. Oh, that's my word. My suck. aunt Wendy, she be eating and she be like this. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> I cannot eat this. Oh, look, she be like this. Mmm, juicy. Oh, I don't like juicy. That's nasty. That's so nasty. This is so juicy. Ugh, no. Oh, this pasta is so juicy. Mm -mm. <laughs> this pasta brother is thick. It's so juicy. It's completely filled with juice. Oh, uh-uh. <laughs> Please. I'm sad. I'm dying inside. That's funny. Yo. Oh. I'm slick fool. Slick. What that look good? I wish y'all could eat it. What's that? So y'all could feel this feeling. <laughs> Sonic never broke one promise. You are Beyonce. <laughs> I'm starting to think that you're Beyonce. I am. The other day you said something, you was like. Something you said, he was like, I don't know. I was like, where is something? And you was like, hold my mind up, that's my best. I did not do that. You said something like that. I can't remember what I said, but I didn't 
I have Beyonce ism. What's your favorite? Okay, I gotta go stop it. What is your favorite Rihanna album? Shut up and drive album. Good girl gone bad. Yeah, that was my favorite. I think it was an all around good balance album. I could play it back. My mine's is. Rated R. I like the Rated R, but mm. see, is it my favorite because it's my favorite, or is it my favorite because you know that one year where they had the best music for you and it just everything fades to you? That's what I'm saying. Is Rated it your R favorite there. because I don't think it's my favorite. You liked it, or is it favorite because it was a real well rounded album? I think my favorite is the Talk That Talk album. Like that wasn't. That I was laying in my bed one day and it was just like Rihanna have a new song, and when I turned it on, it was. Baby, come set me now, woman now. I, I like was like, was well, like, it had a lot of hits, but to me, I remember where I was. Mm -mm. That was my like least favorite. Really? That one in loud, I couldn't get without. Oh, loud was it? Mm -mm. Okay. Maybe it's just because of the songs I like. Switch the topic. What is your top three albums of all time? Hmm. I can tell you mine off the off the top. Of all time. I can tell you mine's off the rip. Mm. I think. Mmm. Oh babe. J. Cole Barn Center. That's your number one of all time? <clears throat> or one of the top three? No, that's probably like the top I'm one. I'm so full. I can literally literally like Still play it like it came out yesterday. My sandwich room. And for still drive too. Like that's one of my favorites too. It's so like the more and more y'all get to know us, y'all will know that we are so weird. I will never get over the fact that like I feel like I'm in your body and you're in my body. No, I'm not in your body. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <laughs> I'm sorry. Sir. I'm sorry. I'm just like, about it. Okay, so y'all just heard that she said. Her, I think Bonson is my favorite album of all time. Y'all just heard her say her favorite album of all time is Bonson. My favorite album of all time is Danny the King. Duh. Who would have not get me? <clears throat> Love Danny the King. Best album. They recorded it in two weeks. I love the bonus tracks. I love everything. I love everything. the first one, right? The first Danny one. King. The first one. Mm -hmm. All I need is one shot. Heartbreaker wanted right That's now. A good album, though. Showstopper. Hold me down. That's a good album. Um, I know you want. Um, I know you want to come over. Come over. I'm trying to see what other album I can play. Like. Mm. Oh, I would love to. Do oh my God. Oh well. Well, we doing top three, right? I'm full. Carrie Olsen, No Boys Allowed, is my number three. You too fast. You're I'm not finished. Mm. <clears throat> Carrie Olsen, No Boys Allowed. Wait, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. Carrie Olsen, No Boys Allowed, is my number three. Brandy, Sweet Eleven, Oh My God, is my number two. Y'all, Sweet Eleven. Top to bottom, I could play it anytime, anywhere, randomly. It's life. And then my number one is Danny King. Subtitle. I'm trying to think. Because I love C. Era first album. That was like one of my favorite albums. That would be like in the top five. Mm -hmm. Chris Brown first album. That's got to be in the top five. Like, oh you my God. Do you know that they've been. I don't the, think I've listened to all the, all the songs back to front. The only song you probably. I think you really didn't only listen to like. Did you hear. Girl, ain't no way I will let you down if you let me. I mean, I've heard it. I will show you how. But I didn't play it. Like Girl, Chris was singing. Chris said, I'm going to sing. I don't know. Because y'all know I, I only have a few top artists that's like my fave. Brandy. Jasmine. Tamar. J. Cole. Lil Wayne. Big Sean. See, I like, I like, I love Jasmine and I love Tamar. But I don't think... A full album would be in my top five. Now, top ten, definitely. Calling All Lovers, definitely top ten. 
Definitely top 10. I mean, oh my gosh. Jasmine Sullivan, not really. Like a whole album. Like she's the vocal dictionary, but not really. I wouldn't I don't think she in my top 10. I don't know. I'm really like lost for words. But Chris Brown's first album, Tamar Calling Our Lovers, 211, Sierra first album, Danny King, Carrie Hilson, first album and second album is definitely in the top 10. Yes, Lord, Jesus, come on. Fantasia, first album. Mm. That's in my top three. Oh my God, that's in my top 10. I think my top 10 is filling up. Got me what waiting. What was top three? My top three was. Danny King, both of them? No Boys Allowed. Oh. 211. Self titled Danny. Mm. Mm. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just took that blue pill. Why would you do that? I don't know. I felt like God told me to take it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I need to know. <laughs> I tell the police. God told him to take it. <laughs> don't question God. <laughs> yeah, we were brought up not to question God. But, hmm, I can't think of. So I got two, right? Uh uh, you got one because you said Bow and Center. J. Cole, Fantasia, that's two. Oh, I thought you meant like two more spots. One more, one more album. Mm hmm. Usher. An artist. Mariah Carey. Oh, Lil Wayne, but like a full album. I like the Carter Three. The Carter Three is low key classic. That was my shit. That was that. That was my shit. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I don't know if it's in my top three. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what I wait, wait. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was waiting for you to come in. I loved Drake's. Mmm. Um, nothing was the same. Nothing was ever the same. Nothing was the same. Baby, that That's was her album. That's our three. I oh, forgot about that. I was about you. to say the one before that. Cause but though, let me tell you who you was. Same. Cause remember, no, because I, I was. I don't the, recall. <laughs> I thought back and I can't. I, Baby, I that was your album. But not I because think. of that. That was a good ass. No, album. I was just saying. You know how there's a good album and so things that was. So let me put them in order. J Cole is obviously first. Mm -hmm. I want to put Fantasia second, but I feel like Jake is Drake is second. But you know what I'm about to challenge you because did you like? Do you really know all the songs off of Fantasia? Album? Give me. I probably don't know like one or two, and that's okay. Because you, you nobody's, really... bla nobody's blessed in summertime. Oh my god. He's coming out on Air Mac Island. I know. They put summertime in, and I believe. They put summertime in, I believe, on them. Because it's over the album. Another one that I wouldn't know. Um, I'm pretty sure there's one more on it. Probably one. one I don't. Yeah. But, but you mean. And I made no, but that I didn't play. But you mean, like, overall. Oh, I understand what you're though. saying. That was an album you could be like, uh huh. So you saying got me waiting was better than 211? I'm not saying it was better. I'm judging you. You asked me what was mine. Okay, so that's top three albums. Now let's do top three artists. Uh, to me, of all time? Of all time. Michael Jackson. Whitney Houston. Oh. Wait, your top three artists? Of all time. Mm-hmm. Oh. I mean, I, even if I didn't listen to like every song that Whitney sung, I know she's the top. You still uh, you know feel what I'm like saying? she's okay. <clears throat> Michael Jackson, Brandy. Baby, coming. Brandy better sit up there with them legends real cute. Real cute. That's how I'm coming. It's like boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? That's why I feel like Mine is different. Definitely Brandy. Like Mariah Carey should be up in there, but her legendary. We're not going to talk about it. Yeah, we're not going to talk about Mariah. Cause, but know. I love Mariah Carey. She has a phenomenal voice. Nobody, nobody has that many actors. Whitney Houston. Brandy. Boy, you need to stop. Because just because you don't listen to Michael Jackson, he is the top. Period. No. <laughs> no, you're top. He wasn't the top for me. We're not about to get into that. You're not about to have people bash me over Michael Jackson. It's, it's already done. <laughs> Look, it's already boom. <laughs> it's already done. You know what I'm saying? Even if you didn't listen to him like that, you have to like, I didn't listen Janet, to him. I don't know every Whitney Houston Janet, song. Janet, Whitney. But how Brandy. can you deny that? But why are they all the time? What's your mom? 
What's the? You about to piss me off. What's the three worst artists of all time? And y'all in the comments, do not come to That's Cassie. That's hard. Do not come to Cassie because Cassie had bops. <laughs> That's hard. It could be. We, we can't even. Let's take rappers out. Let's just do singers. Because mm -hmm. rappers, they have so many. <laughs> well, damn. We just a little oh, B. We just a. Uh, uh. He's nowhere to be found. He got that check. Okay, so. So let's see. Singers. Worst. That you would never. Okay, singing for singing. Mm hmm. Okay, well then Cassie's in there. Because artist, artist, why, artist, why I like Cassie. Artist wise, I feel like if she was with the right producer. No, we said singing, said, sing, singing artist, not rapping artist. That's what I mean. Oh, so you not you don't mean for singing? No. Okay, well no, then take Cassie out. Okay, well who then? I don't know, but you're gonna take you not by the paper Cassie because Cassie had official girl. Like the worst artist that was just like no, but that charted. That did that made something pop though. They had this one girl, remember y'all? She was like zing ziggy zongs a zongs a zong ziggy ziggy zongs 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 a zongs a zong zong. Ladies, where you at? Where you at? Ziggy zing a zong zong. Where you at? Oh, where is she? She hard, Michael. She is at home. I know that is pretty hard. That is your real. We're really just being negative. Yeah, that was. We need to change it. No, you didn't. No, why did you bring it up? You brought it up. We're riding the tape. Name the. That's what you said. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Three best rappers of all time. Mm, they go. Stop slurping it like that and talking, Mama. J. Cole. <clears throat> left eye. He just have a weird. That's how it's good. No, I'm just saying just for me. For me. That I can sit there and really listen and be engaged. I remember that time you played J. Cole on the DJ? Mm hmm I was really was engaged. Was I was really too. engaged. Mm hmm Because I'm really not engaged with rap like that. J. Cole. Mm hmm Left eye. Mm-hmm. Gotta get one more. And I'm gonna say Lil Wayne. I feel like he's the greatest. My favorite? I really feel that way. Lil Wayne, J. Cole. But I feel like I'm going to dig deep with this last one. Mm -hmm. You about to give us some, a legend, like a throwback? A legend. Nikki? But one that I can clarify. The one that I can say I have least listened to it. Nikki? And not taking it off for other people. It's not Nikki? No. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you think Nikki's a legend? No, I don't think she's a legend yet. Um. You are so messy. <laughs> People won't like you. This next question. I agree. Um, <laughs> I totally agree. I really want to say Biggie Smalls. <clears throat> I didn't. That wasn't my time. Put it that way. But. Ooh, when you said Biggie Smalls, I want to do this. When you go back and listen to it, if you're a new schooler, like if you're a new age person, you know, just say young. Biggie was spit. Period. Mm -hmm. But as far as a lyricist, <clears throat> Biggie was spitting. Like, you know how they have rappers from back in the day? I'll state one, like LL Cool J. Love LL Cool J. Um, what was another rapper? LL Cool J rapped? Will Smith. People like that. Will Smith rap. But when you talking about, they was like old school rapping. Look at that. Dun -dun 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 on my mind. Biggie was saying some stuff like Biggie was having metaphors. Biggie was saying stuff. Biggie, like I can go back and like say Biggie killing Biggie rhymes killing some of these lyricists out here right now, mm -hmm. cause he was really like he was a lyricist. Pac was good too, but Pac was just real. Like he just gave it to you. That's what you liked about Pac. So that's why I would say Biggie, even though I haven't listened to every Biggie song and oh. And just like whatever, whatever. That's a banana. Ew. I think Biggie is one. So J Cole, Lil Wayne, and Biggie. I'm trying to show y'all. <clears throat> First, stop it. I like Tupac too. When he was trying to shout at Biggie, who was like, "We don't <laughs> bust for fun. We just do something." Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we do bust for fun. I like but, that too. But yeah, that was my three faves. 
Both of us love though. What up, Poppy? You think you got game? Well, I, I know you're feeling like your sexual team can make it happen. You'll remember me. Left eye, TLC, TLC. You, you got, got to the... lick it before you stick it. And, and that's, that's just me. me. I, I be killing them with the Gucci fits and kits. And you be hurting my ass for the last So slick, you get a new approach. Your game's a joke. Co signing from the sideline, trying to vote. I'm bigger than that. You small talk. Face to face. You want to rock the boat a little bit? Earn your pay. Let's call for alcohol. Meet at the bar. Me and my girl. Doing it, baby. We pop stars. Girls talk and gush all oh, the girls talk. Yes, they do. Okay, y'all. So, yep. This is the end of our first mukbang. Woo! Let us know what other kind of mukbangs y'all want us to do. Write down in the comments below. Hashtag mayonnaise and hashtag My potential Zulu. talk. Because we're going to start doing potential talk where we have conversations like Hopefully this all the time. Know, we're not fat. And we're gonna, it's going to be live. We don't even Without the, the food. Time. Oh, Lord, what's your name? My name is Kate. My name is Mike. And we are the, the potential. potential. We out.